Maps! A study Bible with an app! Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. She reads truth. That's the name of the app. And the app is really amazing. You can download it on either your, your iPhone or your Android phone. And it has, when you log in with it, it has a community Bible reading plan and a link to a She Reads Truth podcast. And there's so much going on that there's, you can even follow them on Instagram and there you'll find encouraging words, encouraging devotionals, uh, the community Bible reading plan and other reading plans, as well as scripture memorization challenges and new content that comes along. That's all the She Reads Truth app. But let's talk about this Bible. The She Reads Truth Bible. Now, this thing has a lot, this Bible has a lot in it. For one, it is the Christian Standard Bible, the CSB. And I have to tell you, it's my favorite version. Because, well, for one thing, when you quote an Old Testament passage in the New Testament, it puts it in bold. And so I like it just for that reason, not to mention the fact that it has acrostics that it shows the across when the acrostics show up in the Old Testament. For example, Psalm 119, Psalm 145, and a whole book of Lamentations. But I digress. The, the She Reads Truth Study Bible. Now, this particular one has this nice leatherish, kind of got a little kind of sparkly cover on it. And let me tell you something. In this volume of Scripture, there's 189 devotionals, 66 illustrated key verses. I wondered myself when I read it, I was like, hey, what in the world is an illustrated key verse? But I'll show it to you here in a second. 35 color timelines, 20 full color maps, 11 charts, and there's something really unique well, there's a one-year Bible reading plan in the back of this Bible, which is great. It's got little boxes for you to check off your, your reading schedule in the She Reads Truth study Bible. And well, what's really unique is that there's a reading plan for every book of the Bible. There's also a key verse list, which is really fantastic. I, for example, in the Bible study class that I teach, I have a couple of uh, two or three slides that I do at the end of class where I talk about scriptures that every Christian should know. And this is the first study Bible I've seen with, with key verses, a whole list of them, for you to uh, peruse, consider, and read. And it does have Smith's own binding. And Smith's own binding is really important in a Bible because when you have that, it's not likely that the pages will ever fall out. And you could take a you could take a soft cover like this, or say you got a hardback. If it was Smith's own, put it in a nice Bible cover, and it would last you for decades. Well, another thing that it has is wide margins for note taking. Look at the margins in this Bible. It's fantastic. Now, I've got, as you can see, I've got lots of bookmarks, and I'm ready to talk about them. So let's get started. First and foremost, when I open the first two pages of it, I see this wonderful thing that says, How to Read the Bible. It doesn't presume that you're a Bible expert necessarily. You could be a brand new believer or even someone inquiring about Christianity this is a great Bible because it's how to read it. It tells you, tells you how to approach it, how to apply it, how to read prayerfully, etc. It's fan it, it really is fantastic. Now, this is 
really cool because indexes help you to understand in a study Bible, help you to see the vast quantity of features in a Bible. And on this one, I just want you to look at this index. On one page, in two columns, you have an index to all the maps and what they're about, which is really fantastic. It tells you the topic of what they're about and the timelines and what they're about. And in bold, next to the timelines are the dates that these time periods took place as well as, of course, the page number. There's an introduction to the Christian Standard Bible, which you can watch in the other videos about the Christian Standard Bible, but that is the version in this Bible. Now, let's look at this, at this other bookmark. Okay, illustrated key verses. This is what they're talking about. I am the Lord your God, for example. Okay, you'll find these throughout the Bible, and they're really, they're really neat looking. Now, in terms of something really powerful that's happening when you come to each book is the introduction. Each introduction, all 66 books, has this feature. There's on the timeline and a paragraph about that. There's a little background, which gives you some history about it, and the message and purpose. Now, this is essentially the same content you'll find in other study Bibles, but it's in a nice, tight, cogent paragraph that's easy to uh, read and get at and, and appreciate. So I, th I think those, those introductions are really, really good. Now, let's look at this other thing. Here's an example. Now, the maps are unique because they're in a they're in like a, a grayscale, but they're very detailed, and they have color for different parts of it. Like this is the route of the Exodus here in Exodus, which is really grand. And while we're here, notice here's one of those Bible reading plans for the book, which I think is really great because you don't have to read the Bible in a year. Maybe you want to just spend time in one of the books, like the larger books like Genesis or Exodus or Jeremiah or Isaiah, for example, there's a plan for it. So how to read and understand Exodus. And then there's cross-references things, cross a whole table of cross-references that's under a section called Going Deeper. So what's really cool about this Bible is it's intending, along with the app, okay, to take you, the reader deeper and deeper and deeper, closer in to Bible knowledge and and becoming literate in Bible in the Bible, and I think it's just I think it's just glorious. Here's another one. Look, this is great. I'm in Leviticus. Okay, you now Leviticus is just all about the 619 laws, but it's got the, another one of these artful key verses. This one says, "I have I have set you apart from the nations to be mine," taken from Leviticus, and here's Leviticus with that same rubric of introduction like there is in all 66 books. I just had to show that to you. Now, here we are in Numbers, and here's another one of those cool maps. See, it's got a little grayscale, but it's also got uh, orange shading about where they scouted out the land of Canaan, which is just artfully and wonderfully done. And if you haven't noticed, the nice colorful section headers on this, right? Read and understand numbers, which is great. Okay, here's another one. Okay, there's lots of devotional, the 189 devotionals that we mentioned. Here's one of them. Look at this. The Faithful God. And it's got all this great stuff. Now, if, if you're not a woman, you're one of the guys watching this video, guess what? You can get this Bible for your wife your sister, your aunt, your cousin, the She Reads Truth Study Bible. It's loaded with wonderful content. Now, let's talk about this. Are you ready for this next one? Here we go. Wow. And this is in a colored shading like blue. For the sake of his servant David, the Lord was, was unwilling to destroy Judah. Wow, right there as we're in 2 Kings, 
And there's that nice, um, on the timeline, a little background message and purpose and a little prayer over here. Give thanks for the book of second Kings, right? To, to bring it all together, which is, which is just really nice. Okay. Here we are in Ecclesiastes. Now this is another one of those hard books in the Bible to study. And there's a whole section searching emptiness, work, death, and wisdom themes in the book of Ecclesiastes to get you thinking, right? So there's on, on almost every page and see these wide margins for note taking, which really every study Bible needs that. It, it just does. Okay. And because, Hey, maybe you want to write a little sermon, a little, little devotional note over here or write a song or a poem that the Lord gives you. Okay. Here's another one of those devotionals. This one, we cannot wash our hands of this in the Gospel of Mark, right? Very nice, very nice. And I got to show you this. I love this because when I open a new study, I always look at the book of Acts, okay? And I found this, and you will be my witnesses in that beautiful orange. Isn't that awesome? And, of course, there it is. But watch this. It's a study Bible with maps. Look at all that. That's beautiful. And it shows, this is the Paul's missionary journey. So it's got all three of his missionary journeys color coded. Now, a couple more. Here's a timeline, the book of Jude in history. Now, this is the kind of timelines that are in this because they're specific to the book and where the book is in the timeline. It's a unique way to do the timelines, and it's well done in the She Reads Truth Christian Standard Bible. And when I get to the back, I find these great indexes. And here's the list of those key verses in the Bible. I think this is absolutely wonderful. I mean, look at all of that. Verses that are key, right? Verses everybody should know. And then when we get to right here, it's a guide to the genre of the Bible, the different the different types of literature, kind of stuff you'd share in Bible study. And like I said, it has maps. Thanks for watching. Bible on the go, Dr. Dan. If you like this video, the best thing you can do is to hit that red button called subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing, and you only have to do it once. Maps.